What's going on everybody, it's Frostbite Frenzy bringing you some Minecraft gameplay yet again. Now for this one, this is just going to be my little solo, solo adventure here. And first things first, I just want to show you, if you guys watched any of my other videos, you would definitely see that, you know, some things look different. I basically replaced all of this with um, stone bricks. And then I'm going to, I'm going to kind of move my enchantment room around and see what I want to do with that. Um, I, I think I have the, let's see, full, yeah, I do. Um, also, I had this awkward staircase that was here. I'm going to build a, a bedroom for myself, but now I just have, um, ladders going up i need to take care of all this wood here it's basically gonna be all all stone brick um i got a cauldron and i don't think that i recorded anything i've been working on potions it's basically i got some some of this some uh brewing stands um and i'm gonna show you guys that in just a second so yeah this is still this room this is all nothing nothing special here i used that to get up there earlier um Let's see, what, what all is new? Oh yeah, okay, so this is kind of what I want to show you. Full diamond armor, all enchanted. Not the best enchantments, but I mean, you know, Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3, uh, Blast Protection 2, and Unbreaking 3. On honestly, Unbreaking is what I like the most, just because I I'd like to have it longer. Um, and also, going back to another video that I recorded on on Minecraft was... Um, let me play some of these up, just because it's kind of kind of dark um i said how it um basically instead of saying a diamond pickaxe it said rune and i think the reason why it did that is because of the texture pack that i had i like loaded the runescape texture pack uh previously and then for some reason it just kind of stuck there because I, I did some experimenting with other texture packs and some things if you switch them quick or whatever they kind of like stay stay the uh the same as whatever it was um also i went and ventured off to find some melons so my wheat farm is now a kind of a melon farm which isn't a permanent melon farm i just wanted to grow some melons i have another wart farm right here that i'm going to do more work with to make it look a little bit pretty but i mean you see how much nether wart i have fully grown there and then how much i have in here I'm, I'm really not going to need to worry about it ever again. I basically wanted to make some splash potions, so I went and got gunpowder from killing creepers. Um, glistering melons, gold, gold nuggets, you know. If you guys don't know much about potions, just wiki it. It's pretty much how I learned everything. Um, up here, you guys could probably guess what I tried doing there. I don't know if I did it too high or, or if I just didn't do it right. I basically tried making a little bit of a mob spawner. For them to spawn in the dark and for them to drop and i've gotten you know it's it's worked a little bit but it doesn't work as well as i had hoped i watched a couple videos on it and uh, i plan on finishing this room out and honestly even though it doesn't really work the best that i would hope for it to work i think what i'm going to do is kind of have this be like a dungeon room almost and say if i ever want to come in here and just try and fight a shitload of mobs or whatever i'll try and you know work that out somehow or or something i don't i don't know we'll we'll figure this out this is this was just something i did in some spare time cuz i was experimenting with different things and it, it it worked a little bit so i was like oh okay cool you know oh shoot i got to change this don't i sorry if the uh the sound is probably super loud i'm sorry about that uh let's just do that. 30 30 30 30 let's just put it all 30 whatever for all we are recording there we go Click, 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 super loud. Whoa. I come in. Sounded loud all of a sudden. No. Alright, whatever. Why does that one sound? That's weird. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it with my house. I showed you guys my little mine cart, which uh, I'm gonna show you why it was a complete fail. And you guys you guys will laugh, you'll like this. I, I I had my suspicions when I went down and looked. I was like, some of this looks kind of kind of uh, familiar. And now uh, it's kind of a long trip, so bear with me here while we go on this little trip. And then uh, 
Let's see. Yep. We're just gonna go. We roller coaster. Yeah. Hands up. Hands up. Look at how how awesome that looks. The graphics are great, aren't they? I think so. My feet definitely aren't hitting the rail at all, but whatever. All right. I'm pretty sure Doctor Who wears chucks. Aren't those chucks? Yeah, those are definitely chucks. All right, so we're going all the way down, all the way down. Now, I mined through out all of this. I found, I mean, I found a lot of different, I mean, obviously, you know, I had enough iron to make all these tracks and stuff. Let's see. Oh, whoops, shift. Uh, pick that up. And where was it that I came up from? Let's just check down here real quick. Let's see, here's this. There's that. Well, I want to say it's this way. But I could be completely wrong and I could have no idea where I'm going. Don't worry, you guys will see, you guys will see. Although, I don't know why. It's going to be so hard for me to find it when I'm going this way, but when I go back the other way. No, this isn't it either. What the fudger? All right, well, let me show you the easy way of showing that I'm an idiot. Don't worry, I can find my way back. I'm still kind of looking for this little, this little entrance. Basically, with what I'm trying to show you, I have to do a whole new minecart setup which honestly I wanted to kind of do anyway because it was just like a trial and run which I mean it wasn't obviously it wasn't great but it was first attempt you know so I like it for what it's worth god I'm amazed that I can't freaking find it right now oh wait is this it oh this is it tell me this is the cheese really no this is the way I came up that's not it is it all right, well, whatever. We're going to ride it back. I'm going to jump on down, and then you'll see what I'm talking about because that's freaking stupid. I'm, I'm so pissed that I did that, but whatever. That was a fun little attempt. And, hey, at least I get all my uh, my equipment back so I, know I, so I don't have to uh, make new uh, rails or powered rails or redstone... Uh, torches because that would just be very very annoying um hmm so yeah you guys can see this is uh this clear my clearly my house right here you know I, I stole it from uh from some person no i'm just kidding all right let's run down now, if you guys have any guesses as to why I'm going down this way to show you my absolute ultimate brilliant fail, you guys get a gold prize. Okay. And here we go. This is not the right way either. What am I doing with my life? Is this the right way? Dude, I need to clear all this crap up because I have too much. I have too much. What level is this even on? It doesn't even matter. That's why I haven't touched it. I don't really care about finding more coal or iron on these levels because I can just find a crap load when I'm searching for diamonds. Let's see. I came from that way. There's my chest. What the hell? Why am I an idiot and I can't find what? Oh, fuck. Hmm. All right. Basically, my house, even though I can't find it because I have too much all over the place, is yep, right here. There we go. Yeah. Basically, right on top of the railroad. So that huge ass amount of track going from my house here all the way around just to come back underneath my house so I got a lot to take care of
but that's that's for another day and for another video all right now let's see i don't even know how to get back but whatever let's see if we can go this way yep uh, my chest there's nothing in this i don't think oh gosh i don't even know why are they not in the have anything in there no that's a crafting table. Maybe. um but yeah that's that's the uh the glorious mine minecart track that I built that was completely pointless because I could just run down my whole entire freaking pathway in my house to find it but whatever it's all good in the hood I don't really mind god I'm an idiot freaking what get lost in the catacombs I don't even know how to get back to my house maybe maybe I should just keep the minecart you know no, I'm not going to keep it. Let's see. Some people who are watching this probably know better than I do how to get back to my house. Big man, I'm so pro of Minecraft. I'm a Minecraft noob, honestly, but I can't. I'm freaking just ask my girlfriend. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. <laughs> I'm, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. Alright. So. See, I showed you the minecart fail, the nether wart farm, melon farm. You guys have already seen my freaking sugar cane farm. That's just ridiculous. I want to get rid of it, but I honestly don't want to have to. Uh, I don't want to have to spend the time to take all of it down. Oh yeah, I didn't show you this. I don't think. A little. Um, I looked for basically obsidian generators or whatever, and this was. The one that kind of stuck out, because I mean, I have so much redstone already. And if you guys don't know how it works, let me just actually get a little bit of redstone and a bucket of lava, and I'll show you why. Um, I looked at, there was one where, like, what, dispensers, or, I don't know, there was a whole bunch of different methods. And some of them, I was reading comments where people were saying, oh, it, it's patch, oh, that doesn't work, or la 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 la. And anyway, so I tried quite a few, and quite a few of them didn't work. And um, I tried this one and it worked. It worked pretty damn well. But basically, what you have to do is so, first off, I'll tell you how you build it. You can use dirt, you don't have to use glass. I use glass. The fool in the tutorial used glass, and I like the way it worked. So, basically, how he did it and how I did it, I followed the same exact steps. You cut down one uh, block and place the water. Uh, I think we placed the glass. I think what we did is we, we basically dug down one, dug down three, and then three again here. And then I placed the glass, and then I placed the water. And then you go in and you dig down a second time. So this is down twice, basically, if that makes sense. Down two blocks. And then this is actually down a fourth block because this is, this is one, two. Oh, no, no, no. So this is just down a third block. Yeah, I'm an idiot. And then what you have to do, if you guys don't know, I'm, I'd be surprised if you guys didn't know by now. But the, uh, redstone, you have to do redstone every time, or else you will not get obsidian. But there you go. You just throw it in, and you can see there's an obsidian block right there. And the thing I like about this method, and I don't know about the other me methods because I didn't get a chance to even use them, but uh, I mean, you don't have to go and get more lava every time. And I don't know if there's a way to have an uh, a lava source where it never goes away. I'm sure there probably is. It's prob probably just like water. I'm going to leave that there for now because I don't have a diamond pickaxe on me and I don't really need it. But um, yeah, that's how you have a little little obsidian farm, which worked kind of nicely. Oh, and those melons. I had to go way the hell that way. I went so far to find a jungle. Knowing my luck, there's probably one like two blocks that way. <laughs> But, uh, no, I, I searched. It took me, what, like, 30, 40 minutes to find it, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. Alright, so now I just want to show you guys one other little thing. That's going to be it for this video. A lot longer than I thought it was going to than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, there's two other things I have to show you, actually. i got to show you this, which I'm actually going to go pick up right now. It's nothing too exciting, so don't get your old panties in a bunch. And they're like, oh yeah, that's it. That's all you wanted to show us. I've seen that like five million times. Now I'm just gonna show you how much I freaking dug out down here. 
and this is all basically in the search for slimes um, I kinda gave up on that just cause I was going through like a potion phase where I wanted to make every single potion and I figured I don't want to waste my time getting all this stuff just in one sitting for potions when I can just figure out or do it later and I haven't I haven't seen any freaking slimes but look at this this it goes like I don't I don't even know how far down there's still so many different things that I need to collect which I probably will I don't know but basically when I show you this you're gonna be like wow really like out of mining all of this that's how many diamonds you found this is it only what one two three four five five I think I think it's five let's see I don't know let's just mine them down but yeah I just wanted to show you guys a little quick video of uh, diamonds and my little my little branch mining I guess people call it six diamonds plenty of redstone and leave that there obsidian because of a mass amount of lava lava Oh, it's crazy. I know these aren't the, the neatest hallways, but they're still all, each of them are uh, basically two by two high. That's how I like to do it. Kind of do three high in a single hallway, skip two blocks, and then go basically on the third one, three high. And then, yeah, you, you guys get the picture. You guys know what you're doing. Let's see. Now I'm going to be lost and I won't know how to get out of here. One last thing I got to show you guys. And I'm not going to switch because usually when I do like little videos like this, I just leave it on to um, peaceful just so I can sprint and not have to worry about my food or anything like that or running into mobs and all of a sudden dying from a stupid ass creeper. But the thing I'm about to show you, it does work. I'm sure there's one that looks plenty, 3,000 times prettier. But uh, basically it's going to be, if you haven't guessed already, a mob XP farm, which if you guys want, I can show you a quick, quick, quick tutorial on how to do it, but there's plenty of other ones that I'm sure you guys have already seen before mine. Um, but it involves water, one pathway, they go all the way up, one block over, and then drop. And it took me a minute to find uh, a mob spawner. Unfortunately, there's only a zombie spawner, which also I have to worry about um, midget zombies, which I've only had an issue with that once because most of the time they die and my theory on it at first was oh it was just um, there were so many that for some reason it cushioned the fall a little bit for this one but I don't think that's necessarily the case because what was it just earlier I waited I waited like 20-30 minutes um, not today but a couple days ago whenever I did it first and uh, I, I saw like plenty of small ones go up and they never uh, they never came out it was just the one I don't know if it was like a little glitch or, or what happened but that was the case but yeah unfortunately you know it's not as close to my house as I would like maybe I'll since it's not it's really not too far I might go have like a certain starting point and uh, for like a little minecart and um, just bring it to the entrance that I don't really feel like there's any need to have it go all the way down now I'm going to show you guys in a separate video probably if I do make a tutorial how I found the mob spawner it was kind of like using a glitch to find it just because I mean think about it like how the hell would I have been able to find it you know just by randomly because like I've dug out so much but yeah here it is here. I've dug out so much to uh to well, let me just show you how it works I've dug out so much to for like finding diamonds and stuff. I mean, and uh, it was just ridiculous that it even took me this long to find this mob spawner, which was only zombies. And I think I found one other spider one by accident in this huge cavern. But I don't really want spiders. I mean, I guess the spider eyes would be nice and the strings would be nice, but. Personally, I think it'd be nice to have a skeleton one um, because the bones, the bones are nice. Bones are nice. I'm gonna kill them, kill them with the diamonds. Now it's not a one punch or two punch. I think it's like a three punch or something, um, which is kind of weird because I don't know if there's like an update or something. Let's see, what one, that's two. So basically, like a two punch. 
a two punch to kill to kill him. And it's weird because a lot of the time, you know, they oh three punch. A lot of the time they die, you know, not a lot of the time, but quite a few of them die. But yeah, that's basically it. You know, just chill here for a minute. I don't have to worry about any other mobs coming in because everything's lit. I, at least I haven't had the problem, and I've sat here for like 40 minutes at one time. Um, no issues with that. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much wrapping it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, just seeing my progress in my Minecraft world. Um, I have a few more surprises coming up uh, in some later videos. I'm not going to talk about anything like that now. Just know that there's some more things to look forward to. So it's been Frostbite Frenzy. I'm out of here.